What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Cheeseman Report. I'm your host, Danny Flores. Que rollo con todos ustedes. Happy Friday to every single one of you guys. I know you guys have been waiting for this day. And we're back at it. We're back again, guys, with the Cheeseman. Today, we got some good quesito. Uh, we got some good cheese. I don't know why I said quesito, bro. <laughs> we got some good cheese, bro. As you guys see in the title, we're going to talk about it all today in TCR. But, um, yeah. First things first, hopefully you guys got notified. Hopefully you guys got your snacks already. And yeah, we're just going to wait for people to come in and uh, start with the queso because it's Friday. We got to spill it. We got to we gotta talk about it, y'all. But uh, hold on, let me throw this to the trash. All right. Uh, what's good? What's up, Tiki? Thank you for coming in. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hello. Hello. Wow. Okay. I love when I love when everyone just goes boom. Come straight in here because it, it just feels nice, bro. It feels nice. But we're here. Uh, what's up, Monica? What's up, Deborah? What's up, Christina? Damn, a lot of people. I'm telling y'all, 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 some cheese mosas. Y'all love the tea, which you know. Th this is why we're here. This is why we're here. <laughs> but uh, let me know what kind of snacks you got today. Um, I don't have snacks. I freaking only have agua today. Water. Lola has me, wait, what? Okay, we got to we gotta read the comments later on about, you know, specific people. But, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's up, guys? What's good? What's Gucci? What's Gucci did with everyone? Uh, did you say cheese man? Yes, I said cheese man. I said cheese man, y'all. So, let people come in. More people come in. I'm seeing comments um, already talking about this cheese specifically, the Lowland Ryan cheese. Um, well, I just I just came on here to uh, to address some stuff because, bro, when this happened, when it popped off, I was like, "Did <laughs> never mind." Let me, let me just wait for people to hop on, dude. Um, Oh, we're gonna we're gonna have fun today, y'all. We're gonna have fun today. I'm telling y'all. Um, hold on, let me let me let me let me scroll back up before we get started. <laughs> y'all y'all already telling me stop playing, bro. Stop playing. Okay, you know what? F it. We have enough people here. Let's get started. Um, so yeah, if you're in the replay, make sure to you know comment my cheese man hashtag my cheese man my replay whatever you want. Thanks for the stars. Party, guys, Appreciate that. Go. Que rollo, que rollo. All right, let's get started because, bro, a lot of people were upset with this kind of with this cheese, right? Because um, so Lola had put something. She went live, right? This is her. This is uh, I'm going to show you the live right now, but this is a live I'm talking about. She posted it. Uh, she said, yo, I'm going on a blind date. I saw this, right? And I was like, oh, shit. Clickbait. <laughs> clickbait and not to like i haven't uh, i know you guys know that i speak to ryan i haven't spoken to him uh i i just knew this was already clickbait because bro ryan told us on the podcast and a lot of people fell for this um lola was having a lot of uh, bad comments on this lie which understandable it's it's clickbait people thought otherwise saying yo how can you go on a blind date when you were just trying to work things out with Mr. Ryan? Like, what's going on? Why are you doing this to Ryan? Blah, blah, blah. And, well, let me just play some of the live for you that are probably blocked. Probably haven't seen it. But, yeah, let's let's see what uh, she had to say the first five minutes, I guess. Let me unmute this. Got a post for the thumbnail. Thank you, Nicole, so much for the 500 stars. Appreciate that. Star party, guys. Go. My laundry is in the way. Colombians was going, no, they don't have adjustments. All right, bitch. Saggy titties it is. He better be into saggy titties. He better be into saggy titties, I swear. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the stars. Damn, you guys are you guys are I wish these had adjustments because legit oh, oh, but they don't and I don't know about the twisty that trick okay so let me see where I'm at with my hair 
so I'm almost done. I just wanted to come on here and wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day. And um, uh, talk about Bianca Straightener. I fucking love it. You guys know I always use right. Bianca Straightener. This is the. But you guys get the point, right? She she clickbaity. <laughs> Most of you, um, obviously, you know, people get mad when people other people clickbait. But let me let me tell you this. Y'all should have like <laughs> the for the people in the back that got mad at her clickbaiting, like y'all, if y'all follow Ryan and Lola, y'all should have known like this was automatically click clickbait. Cause Ryan went live that same day and my boy was dressed. My boy was I was like, bro, you're you're dressed to impress or what, foo? But uh, no, he was dressed. Uh this was this was his uh this was his live. Hold on, let me let me pull it up for y'all. Because I was like, bro, this is so obvious it's clickbait. And listen, all right, let me let me just play this this little clip right here. And then my dress doesn't have the adjustments. So I'm like, he better oh, be into saggy titties, I swear to God. Like <laughs> wait, why is it playing two lies at the same time? Um, hold on guys, let me let me um oh it's cause the other one played. All right. So here it is, right? Y'all see, y'all see, he's dressed to impress. He's ready to go out. Go. And this was, this was actually the same night. Um, I think, what is it, Valentine's? Valentine's, yeah, where he, um, oh, <laughs> not you guys saying Ryan always looked like that. Bro, imagine what y'all say about me with this black shirt and the hat, bro. This is just my uniform, guys. No, um, no, all seriousness, uh, it just it was just so obvious. Plus, if you guys also missed it, she um she did say in one of her lives that her date was Ryan. So let me um let me get that for y'all real quick. Just so y'all know that this was clickbait. And l listen, click bro, people, yes, people take it far with the clickbait. I clickbait sometimes. Sometimes we ha as creators, we have to to grab people's attention to bring them in, but obviously talk about what the title is. You know what I mean? So uh yeah, in this live she says, "Yo, my date was Ryan. My blind date was Ryan." blah blah blah. So, let's let's check it out. My favorite ones. I was like, "Oh my god." And then um the um necklace well, I think the bracelet came in here, which is the one that I showed you. And then um, the necklace came in here, which is the one that I have on. And I like this one because it has like a teardrop. Look. Oh, sorry. It's like a little teardrop necklace. It's so cute, right? <laughs> Miss Leah! Do you want to eat, baby? I was like, who's she yelling at? I think it's here where she says, like, like one thing about me is I'm going to grow up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ryan was my date, friends. <laughs> you guys got crazy with it, huh? You guys were like, and I told Ryan, um, um, I just watched them squirm. I just want to watch them blow up. Like, people were like, what is going on? Oh, my God. You're this. You're a slab. Oh, my God, this. All right. And they were just going at me for it. And it was. Let me just tell Lola, you okay, after you did that, <laughs> you can't be mad at other people clickbaiting. Hence, you know, the, the drama channels, the TCR. You can't. She literally admits to, I just want to see people squirm and get mad over this. Understandable, I guess. I mean, if you wanted the views. that's a, I guess that's a good way to to get views, right? Um, so there it is, y'all. I, I don't know why uh why this was a thing but you know people wanted me to talk about it they were like yo did you see lola went on a, br a blind date and i was like yeah with ryan <laughs> that's where that's energy uh type of energy i mean I, to to each their own right to each their own um i know other creators that clickbait the hell out of their videos and i mean <laughs> it is what it is i guess this is uh facebook for you all right, so the next thing I want to talk about, which I'm not very familiar with this cheese man. I'm, I'm just getting into uh, into it right now as of this morning. Uh, I did not have a lot of time to um, to watch a video. So I, I want to watch. I want I want you guys to explain the cheese man, the quesito to me. 
and uh yeah see what what's popping so we're talking about the whole walker versus brandy and tati listen it's crazy it got to a point because uh i heard you know the cheese man world i heard people talk that allegedly <laughs> brandy slept with her connect and by connect i mean her dealer you know what i'm you know what i'm trying to say and that's how she got pregos which this is all alleged people are going back and forth I don't know what the heck is going on. So if you guys know the cheese man, please explain to me here in the chat. But we are going to watch a live, uh, one of uh, the Walker's Worlds live, where she goes live with Miss Nico. Uh, messy Miss Nico. And I'm just calling her that because she, she she loves to be in the mess. Just like myself, right? Just like myself. I love being messy. There's no shame. But uh, yeah, let's check this out. Because they went live together. I think she explained what's going on to Ms. Nico. So I, I want to hear from her explaining what the heck is going on. Because I'm hella confused by all this. Uh, his name is Spider. I don't know who Spider is. But allegedly the plug is named Spider. Okay, thanks. Like, you're a boss. Let's see this. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Girl, so hey, I don't know what happened, but somebody tagged me in this video, so I have no, I have no idea what's going on. I'm just coming, but clearly something's going on. But when I joined the live, it sounded like you said, "Hey, Miss Nico, you want to join the live?" Because I heard you was a hater too. And I'm like, wait, wait a minute, I'm a hater too. What you gonna say? How do you? Do? What you say? I can't hear you. Um. Wait, someone said Spider is uh the the plug, an old man from Victorville. Damn. Thug life. <laughs> Damn, that's thug life right there, dude. Okay. Now thank you. Thank you for catching me up on that. Okay, let's let's play. So You said that I was a hater? No. No, I said you're most hated. Like they hate you. For I'll be seeing you around, so I'm saying they hate you like Oh, oh girl was the lot, but I'm trying to figure out what's going on. What is the scenario here? Because I, I swear I have no idea what's going on. I don't know either. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what the tea is, girl. Just because I was tagged here and I'm wondering what's the tea. She's a strike right now. Basically, uh, Tati and Brandy over here talking about us and stuff like that. Right now, she's distracted. I was distracted too with um, his eye. But they going back and forth on messages, so she's distracted. Uh, we okay. found out that you were, they wanted us to go live with you because you most hated too, and we most hated now, so they wanted us to go live with you. I don't, I don't necessarily, I, well, I don't think I'm <laughs> Bro, Ms. Me, Ms. Nico got a, she, I think she's covering the mic. Can't hear anything. It sounds like she's far away. Thank you for the I'm stars. Appreciate that. Oh, you cute though. Yeah. Hey. I'm still confused. So, um, well, listen, I wish y'all the best on it. I don't, you know. Um, I, For those saying I need captions, bro, same. We're on the same boat. I need captions, too. I can't, you know, I really just can't comment on it because I don't know what the, what the situation is. But I've heard yeah. about it before. I heard about, I heard the name, I heard of the name, the Walkers before. Um, and just, you know, through hearsay. But I, you know, I didn't know that this was, this was, what this was, but. It I don't know. It wasn't but, like this at first. Trust me. It wasn't like this. Yeah. Our page is not full of drama. We like to just be us and be real. And I guess it just happened to be that. And then next you know, this happened. And then it's keep going further and further. Interesting. So, wait a minute. Yo, you, are you like in a, y'all was in a relationship or something like that? 
No. They just wanted to do that skit. First of all, I got on live because you posted the screenshot. Okay, so yeah, I heard the same thing. Like they were in a relationship. I don't know. Bro, were they like people are? People are telling me yes, there were in a relationship, a skit or something, bro. It, it's hella confusing. I hope they do clarify in this video, um, because y'all were tagging me, y'all were sending me this like, yo, this cheese man is good. So I really, I'm really trying for y'all. Like I want to cover this for y'all, but yeah, I don't know. They need mics, bro. <laughs> they need better service. I don't know what the hell's going on. I was like I was hating on you, and it was not never that. Okay. Then second, I, I seen your live first, so then I went live. Uh, what? I. What? Don't be put. Don't, no, because she's trying to really plan these messages. Hold on, y'all. It seems like y'all could explain better than these. Or them is or whatever that I'm watching. Brandy and Tati said that they were their girlfriends when they were at their house. Uh, they were saying it was a skit for the walkers to get more followers. Bro, if <laughs> what's up with y'all with skits, bro? Damn. It's like, girl, knock it off. Not when we on live with somebody. No, because you're trying to really play me. Oh, God. Like, for real. Oh, Jesus. You can't be doing two things at once, baby. Your hair is almost out of here. Let me get you some water, man. Bro, I'm really trying for y'all. So, like, if y'all... I don't know. I don't know what the heck is going on. Uh, I still think the baby daddy is... Uh, mm, I don't know. That's that... Uh, I don't know that... <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I can't even say that right now. I can't even say that. Uh, Danny, uh, they are skits. I did maybe his lashings. I could say something that I heard while she was in my salon. Call in, bro. If she was in your salon, allegedly, call in. Call in. Let us know the cheese. Um, but yeah, apparently, listen, Brandy and Tati went live too, but they they kept deleting. They keep they every time they go live about the situation, they keep deleting their lives. So I'm like, bro, if you're gonna talk about it, just just please. Keep the lives up for your boy, the cheese muscle, to you know catch up on the cheese man. Uh, someone said get chosen on the pot, bro. Hold on, talking about chosen, bro. I I feel so bad. I feel sorry for that for that lady for that girl. <laughs> no disrespect, but bro, let me show y'all what y'all saying. So apparently she was live, right? She was live last night, and I don't know. I guess talking talking mess. She was talking mess, right? And I'm just showing you guys this because from my perspective, this is sad. This is sad. It's like something's wrong inside her head, dude. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Maybe. Um, so just just check this out, y'all. Just check this out. It's just sad. And she's trying to she's trying to be cool <laughs> online. She needs help, bro. She needs help. Do y'all think anybody really want that pussy? No. No. I was the only one hitting it. Bro, you're going to go back in a few months. Trust me. Trust. I even know we're hitting it. Barely. <laughs> Barely. It's boring over there. What are you talking about? It's boring, it's boring, it's boring, it's boring. And y'all be over there burning up. Stop playing with me. Slap yourself, man. Slap yourself again. Slap yourself again. Slap yourself again. Oh. Oh. You need to see. <laughs> Seriously, Slap. bro. Like, how can y'all not see it? Like, I... I feel sorry, dude. I feel sorry. Um, she, She's talking all this mess. But it's gonna end up back at the house. Slap yourself real good, you hear me? <laughs> Ooh, wee! She thinks somebody wanna be the ass. Hell no, only me. Only me, only me. I did, but not no more. Shit. I even can have it to his Oh, he don't want either. Oh. 
Bro, this <laughs> this is so uncomfortable to watch, dude. But I guess she's. I guess last night y'all were saying, yo. I guess this life was deleted, right? So y'all were telling me that uh, she was talking a whole bunch of mess about May. Uh, you know, a lot of cursing in that in that live, bro. But if I'm gonna be honest, why the hell are you gonna be talking smack about a uh, about your girl that held you down, bro? Held you down, paid for your a roof over your head and shit like that. And then you go off over here on your other. I guess this is a new account she has because the other one got um, either someone took it down or reported it. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, she's talking a whole bunch of mess about May body shaming her. Basically, I'm like, dude, really? You're the one that was hitting like literally hitting that, bro. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? I got all mine, baby. I got all mine, and it, and it looks good. And it, it ain't got no kids out of it. It ain't had no life. surgeries or nothing. Baby, I got a whole stomach for reals. I got a whole stomach. Mines. Bitch, mines. Mines, baby. What are you talking about? I look good. You hear me? Some will say, yeah, you're looking like a hope. <laughs> Straight up, dog. Straight up. You feel me? Now you? A busted biscuit. Don't shut the fuck up. Leave me alone. How about that? A busted biscuit? What? But I hurt your feelings over and over again because you're going to be crying at the day. Y'all can't tell me she's not cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, y'all. Like, really? Bro, this is uh, uh May should have helped her a long ass time ago, but I, I guess she would she didn't want help. I don't know, bro. Like it's sad, dude. Fine, she thinks this is good. We don't have the same size, she's a liar. She thinks this is good entertainment, y'all. She's a liar. Liar May's full of crap. I'm telling you, y'all don't see it by now. May's full of crap. Y'all don't see it by now. The bitch has been going crazy for a while now. All right, so who are you gonna believe, May going crazy or Chosen going crazy? Like, yo, let me let me hear, let me see y'all in the chat. Who y'all gonna believe, May or Chosen, Israel, whatever her name is? That's that's wild. It's almost said, Danny, it's good. Inter I mean, it could be for some of y'all, but bro, she's literally. She's literally being crazy online, dude. <laughs> so they y'all saying they're both crazy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I could see that. Okay, makes makes crazy for taking chosen back after day after day after today. Yeah, um, but <laughs> chosen is mentally crazy. Like you could see it here, dude. She man calls that on either, cause I don't. Never have needed you. Who? You bitch. Fuck life. She want me to need her so bad. She does need help. She want me to need her so freaking bad. Well, guess what? Mm. Hey, 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 relax, dog. What are you talking about? Yep, I'm gonna tell it all. She be coming jumping on my ding ding because he got a ping ping, a little wing wing. She, he, you don't even got a ding ding. What the hell are you talking about? Wanna fuck her? She oh wanna shit. Me. She wanna fuck me. <laughs> Screaming. I'm Mallory. <laughs> All right, I take that back. This is entertainment, but sad. Sad entertainment, bro. What? What are you, you're hollering, you're hollering. Come on now, get on. It was a ween ween for me. Oh, my mama, stop playing with me. No, you're all right. You're all right. Girl, boy, I'm ordering some pizza. <laughs> my I'm ordering some pizza. I, uh... <laughs> 
okay, yes, I take that back. It's entertaining, but it's sad, bro. Like, look, look at this. Come on now, get on. Like she, listen, she thinks we're laughing with her. No, no, big dog. No, we're laughing at you. Maybe he's laughing at you. There you have it. Oh, my mama, stop playing with me. No, you're all right. You're all right. Girl, boo, I'm ordering some pizza. <laughs> I'm ordering some pizza. Bro, we need a contest contest of the laughs bro check this out we need we need, listen y'all tell me who's the best right y'all tell me who's the best <laughs> all right that's one that's two that's two this is three come on now get on this is three hit it Chosen, hit it. Oh, my mama, stop playing with me. No, you're all right. Chosen. You're all right. Girl, boo, I'm ordering some pizza. Laugh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm ordering some pizza. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, dude. Oh, Lord Jesus. I'm hungry. I'm screaming, screaming. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all saying G. Y'all saying maybe. Yo, I don't know. Um, y'all could vote in December for the Cheese Mare Awards and see who has the best laugh. <clears throat> Come on now. Bitch, I got all my real teeth in my mouth and everything. What is you talking about? Hell yeah. I have spray cans here. <laughs> You see what I mean? Like, people are on her page talking about spray cans. Like, bro. <laughs> like, they're making fun of you. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, man. I wish I did. <laughs> Screaming. Uh, found another sound bite. Screaming. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> this is crazy, though. I love that I'm very, very, very. I'm very chosen. I'm very chosen. Very chosen. I'm very, 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 very chosen. Very chosen. Very chosen. Very chosen. So this is where the clip y'all sent me. Pause. But yeah, if five minutes of just brushing her hair. Someone said she was brushing her hair for like 20 minutes, dog. So I I don't know what's going on. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she's at a motel, staying at a motel or hotel. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's that's what's going on right now. Um, and I'm pretty sure this back and forth is going to keep going, guys. Uh, it benefits. Uh, it benefits both creators. Ugh. I said creators. Oh my gosh. It benefits Chosen and maybe to have this uh going on for a bit. So uh yeah, I don't know if uh this is entertaining for some of y'all. If y'all want me to keep covering this, have coverage on this, uh, let me know right here on the chat. But if not, we Gucci, we're we're done. We're done. <laughs> uh, okay, never mind. Chubba Wubba's laugh. Bro, my laugh? What? Fucking Chubba Wubba. Um, Chubba Wubba's laugh? No. I'm not I'm not in the contest. I'm not a runner up. <laughs> I'm not a runner up. Uh did you already talk about Lola? Yes, we did. Uh we did earlier on. So if you missed it, please make sure to replay it. It helps uh it helps this this page grow. Um I I'm over maybe. Yeah, but okay, cool. Me too. <laughs> uh but yeah, I, I still have so many people that want me to cover that situation. I don't know. It's it's confusing. Half of you guys are over it. Half of you guys still want it. 
if I'm being honest, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this anymore. But, you know, um, I'm here to please the audience. Whatever you guys want me to cover, I'm, I'm, I'm there. Um, but anyways, let's go into something more uh, uh, or a little update. Um, I believe last week I spoke about um, George Lopez. George Lopez being an a-hole, bro. Being an a-hole to Mr. Ralph Barboza. Bar- Barbosa. Uh, but it turns out. Mr. George Lopez ab- apologized. So if you guys don't remember, George Lopez was was on his podcast saying, yo, who the hell is uh, Ralph Bar- Barboza? Sorry, I could only say, say it in Spanish. Barbosa. <laughs> who the heck is Ralph? We don't know who the hell that is. He was like, who the fuck is that on his podcast? Basically, knowing damn well who he was. And uh, yeah, I mean... It was just being an a-hole in my opinion. We covered that last week. If you missed it, please go back. Um, but anyways, it, it turns out he, George Lopez, apologized to Mr. Ralph over the phone. You know, I guess man to man, whatever you want to call it. But this is this is what Ralph said in uh, one of uh, Andrew Schultz's podcasts, another comedian's podcast. He knows you, my boy. But it's his podcast. Like, you, you don't he, say I don't know somebody five times unless you know him. Yeah, unless you know him. But yeah, he called me, and he was like super cool. I was kind of like starstruck by it, to be honest, because I wasn't expecting it. But, uh, How did he call it? Was he like, like? <laughs> <laughs> like <Watch out. laughs> no, no, no. Tell me about the call. What happened? He was just like, he's like, hey, Ralph, this, this is George, man, George Lopez. I was like, I wanted to call and apologize. And my first words was like, what the? And I was like, my bad, man. I didn't mean to be like rude or nothing. It's just like, damn, it kind of caught me off guard, you know, that he's even calling me. And he was just like, yeah, man, he's like, I just, I was kind of like in the heat of the moment where they're just kind of shooting with, with Trevino and kind of fired up about it. But I didn't mean, I didn't mean to like talk badly about you or anything like that. Like just kind of talking, you know, like, but I apologize. I was like, you didn't have to, man. I was like, I appreciate that a lot. Like you really didn't have to, you know, it's not like bugging me like that. He was like, no, no, no. He's like, I did. I had to, whatever. He's like, that's oh. decent though, that he didn't do a public apology. Yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't have. I don't think it had to be public at all. A lot of people online were like, hey, you slander him in public, you apologize in yeah, public. Yeah, like, yeah. nah, bro. Like, then it would have looked like he's just doing it yeah. for, for them, the people. Not yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah he's just yeah. like, he's like, comic to comic, man to man. He's like, I just want to apologize, man. Yeah. He's like, you got my number. If you ever did need help with anything, you got my number now. Oh. All right. So I want to ask you guys, what do you guys think? Should George, should, should he have apologized publicly or, you know, just privately? I say publicly, he he shamed them publicly in a podcast and it went viral. But at the same time, I understand what uh, Ralph is coming from. Like, yo, if because he I didn't want to show the rest of the clip because I don't know if uh, uh, what's it called? They they could uh, like claim my video because I'm, I'm, I'm playing there. So because they're bigger creators or whatever. But anyways, um, he says, yo, um, I. Like if he would apologize publicly, people would have been like, "Oh, you're just you're just apologizing because you're getting all this hate um, that you did um, you you said on the on your podcast." So I understand, you know, people wouldn't feel like George Lopez was genuine on if he did a, an, a, a publicly apo- apology. Um, but at the same time, I still think George is a piece of crap, bro. Um, not just because this uh, situation, but other situations. Such as Paul Rodriguez, we talked about that situation too, where Paul was uh, like George offered Paul Rodriguez, a big comedian, bro, an OG, three hundred bucks to open up for him. Paul Rodriguez said, "Yo, what the? He- this is an insult, bro. I literally gave you, I paid, tw- I paid you twenty five grand when you were starting for the f- to open up for me. So, I mean, I still strongly feel like he's a piece of crap for doing this." Um, for talking smack, for not helping others succeed. Um, you know, this is something we have as Hispanics, as, as Mexicans. I don't know what is it, but we don't like helping each other. And I'm not putting myself in there because I, I do like helping others out, you know, but we, we don't, I don't know why. Like we bash each other. We fucking don't like helping one another, bro. Like it, it's crazy in this culture. It's pretty much. I don't know if it's like this in other cultures, but I see it a lot in the Hispanic community. Like, bro, we're, I don't want to call it jealousy, but like, is it envious? Is that the word I'm trying to say? Or I don't know. Uh, Public, he was mad enough to talk shit. 
Yeah, I understand. But yeah, I don't know. Like, this is something that's been going on for years. Um, yeah, it's just crazy to me that we can't just pride. I guess it's pride. I don't know if it's pride, though. I don't know if it's pride. Um, yeah, I don't know what the reason, what what it is. But we there's a lot of people that, that do that. Like, by helping, let's say you're a bigger creator. By helping a smaller creator, you, you, you feel scared they're going to surpass you. And they're going to be bigger than you. That's why you don't help them. I don't know. Someone's saying, hold on, let me read this comment. And that's true for black communities. I, I mean, I don't know. But um, I, I've seen one. I, I've seen actually a TikTok. Someone cur- co- covering that. Saying, uh, you know, something similar about Eddie Murphy, actually. Um, that he wasn't, you know, he didn't have pride. He wanted to help younger comedians succeed. So he put on uh, Chris Rock. Chris Rock, he put on a Chris Rock on the map. So, yeah, and basically Chris Rock was just a, a kid cleaning, picking up chairs in a in a, um, like the Laugh Factory. Or not even Laugh Factory. I don't know. It was a club. It was a small club. Eddie Murphy saw him, said, you know, talked to him and said, yo, what do you do or whatever? And, uh, yeah, he put him up. He put him up on stage one night and he, I guess he was successful, bro. So, Ever since Eddie Murphy was like, "Yo, you're Gucci." <laughs> um. Oh, hold on! Someone putting me on blast. Okay, let's see. And chill, Danny. You are kind of like that. I asked you to follow my business page when you first started on Facebook, and you still haven't. I don't follow a lot of business pages here. Um, you could sh- you could show me your business page again. Message me. I'll follow it from my other account. Same as Instagram. I don't. I this is strictly work. Um. But yeah, I mean, I could uh, I could follow you on my other account. <laughs> Thank you for putting me on blast. Perfect example is must be sending me salty about let's do make us collaboration with beauty creation. Such a jealous individual. Of course, she deleted the video, bro. I let me. I think I heard I saw that. Let me see. Um, I don't even know if I have it, but. I saw that. I saw people talking about that. I even saw her post. She put up a post. Um, someone sent me a screenshot. También. Let me see if I could pull it up. She. Okay. Let me. Okay. I think it's right. Yeah. It's this one right here. She deleted this post too. Um, I believe. Like after she posted it a couple minutes, um, probably 10 minutes. Um, let me see. This is what she said. It makes me sick to my stomach seeing people literally drag me down on someone's special moment. And for what? I literally have never ever in my life given you guys the vibe of me being envious of anyone. I don't know where that shit started, but it's so sad that y'all trying to make something out of literally nothing. Here I go again getting dragged on the Cheesema channels. I, I haven't talked about this. This is my first time talking about it, So it's not. I think she's talking about another Cheesema channel. Once again, when I don't uh, do anything fucking wrong, like I'm doing so damn, like I'm so damn if I do, so damn if I don't, damn if I do this way, or damn if I do this way, damn if I do that way. I seriously wonder if that's ever going to just stop. I stay in my own lane and work with, for my kids. It's only my reason. It's my only reason uh, that I go so hard. There's so much room in the world for everyone and their success. I've always said that. I mean, let me see if I could find the video just in case you guys missed it. Because I did see it on TikTok. Um, someone said, yeah, Cindy is very jealous. When someone brought it up, she hella fights back. Um, I was just wondering why she left the trip. I don't know. Hold on. Let me, let me see if I could find the TikTok again. Because I think a friend of mine sent me the TikTok. Or maybe one of you guys. Bro, I get so many messages <laughs> at a time. Hold on. I think, yes, I think I was sent a video. Uh, oh, yeah, my friend sent it to me. Okay. Let me let me put it on my computer. Let's talk about it. Because I totally forgot to put this on my document. I was rushing this morning. Um. Okay. All right, here it is. Here's a video in case you guys missed it. Right here. No. She said it's behind her. She was going to show it, but didn't. Oh, it's right here. 
Listen, y'all, don't be with that pressing shit because I'm not about that life right now. So don't do not do that to me. Like someone already commenting saying like, oh, you never go to influencer parties. I literally go to almost all of them. I'm not going to leave Luis here. Wait, what influencer party was she talking about? Was she talking about, did Les have an influencer party? Or a beauty creations thing in L.A.? But I did get it, you guys, and it's so pretty. I think Luisa's going to go into the one of the lashes. And then um, I'm going to go into one of the lip trios. I don't know exactly which one I want to use. But this is my PR that they sent to me. So shout out to them and congratulations to them. And you guys can use code must be Cindy on literally any of the items on um, the beauty creation. All right. So that was probably too quick for y'all to, to actually realize. But people were upset because... She didn't, I guess people were upset because she didn't praise Let's Do Makeup. Um, she just said congratulations to them. If you let, me, let me play this one more time just in case you guys missed it. I literally go to almost all of them. I'm not going to leave Luis here by himself. But I did get it, you guys, and it's so pretty. I think Luis is going to go into the one of the lashes. And then um, I'm going to go into one of the lip trios. I don't know exactly which one I want to use, but this is my PR that they sent to me. So shout out to them and congratulations to them. And you guys can use code must be Cindy on. Sorry, she just said shout out to them um, and congratulations to them. Oh, my God. Why does she have to praise less? People are reaching. Listen, <laughs> I don't know. I, I understand where people are coming from, right? Because this is not the first time something like this has happened. She's done it before. Um, I guess it was like not not specifically to this, but she's done something where, you know, she she gets PRs and she doesn't show them on live and people get upset on that. She does other things. People get, you know, it, it's easily like, let me ask you this. Is Cindy like the one of the most hated um, hated uh, influencers, content creators here on Facebook? <laughs> must be must be Cindy must be tripping. Uh, all influencers want money. Nah, because hold on. Where where that come and go? Oh, not because she didn't want to praise Leslie Makeup. It's just everything about that live and how she acted. So you see, um, I I need more context to this video. I would love more context because that's what I heard too. Like it's like it's a weird live or whatever. But apparently after this uh, after this happened, she took that live down. And this is why I don't get so. If you didn't mean anything like that, if you didn't mean to be envious or feel that type of way or whatever, feel guilty, I guess. You should have just kept it up, Cindy. Like, honestly, it it looks bad now that you took it down because then people have a reason to talk. You know what I mean? Like, yo, you took it down for a reason. You took it down because you look bad. Like, bro, you should have just stayed with your with your first instinct and say yo no i'm gonna keep this shit up because i didn't do anything wrong um hold on let me see took it down because she don't want to support yo i'm just reading comments right now <laughs> she is jealous period she uh, has always been jealous of other influencers she's a hater damn okay i, I see i probably was my i probably watch must be cindy jealousy is the devil uh yeah i don't know I love, I see, I love must be Cindy's too, Cindy and Maybe for sure. Um, so yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. Let's have a party. Okay, this is where I went. Let's have a party. And on the video, she said that she messaged to ask if she can take Luis, but no one answered her back. And she will, ah, oh, fuck that, that comment left. Wait, let's ask, let's ask Cindy for Luis. Is that what y'all trying to say? Um, I don't know. I love Les. Yes. But bro, you got you guys have to realize too that Les has a lot of strong fans, bro. Like <laughs> they're 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 a whole ass army, dude. They're the Les army. So obviously anything that that comes like if Les names comes up on your live, people are going to dig for that. So and then at the same time, if Musby Cindy didn't show the PR package, people people would have still talked. <laughs> like, yo, you didn't show it, you're petty and shit like that. So I understand where Cindy's coming from. Like, she can't win. She's damned if she does, she damns if she doesn't. Like, I don't know. <laughs> she I feel like she's just a walking L. You know what I mean? Everyone loves less because she's not drama. That's why. Not yet. 
<laughs> the must be Cindy's go hard too. Yeah, I I I noticed that too. Not Tanya being a must be Cindy fan. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Tanya's a real one. Uh, Cindy's the sh- leave her alone, bro. Okay, now that I said. <laughs> It's funny that I said less fans go hard. Now the Cindy fans come on. Relax. Take a chill pill. Uh, let's have stay true. What did it say? Let's have stay true and humble this whole time. All right. All right. Cindy did it to herself. The less show must be Cindy. I am less to make up fan. Yeah, I don't know what you mean by um, this she show must be Cindy. Uh, so you need to understand when she's invited. Where did it go? When she's invited somewhere, she can't keep effing bringing people. I don't know. She probably doesn't feel safe w- going alone. <laughs> I don't know. That's probably that's probably a, a reason why she takes people. I'm a must be. Okay. Hello, must bees. Um, who is Les? Oh, you shouldn't have. Type that on or type that in the chat. People are going to come after you. Les is another Les is another content creator here, like a makeup artist. Or is she a makeup artist? I don't know. But she does content here and on YouTube, and people love her. She has over 2 million followers. So, yeah. Um, did. Well, y'all going too fast. Um, that's what I'm saying. What happened to Lola's page? I don't. Is it? It should still be on. We just. We, I was just there right now. If no one supports her, then why should she support them? I didn't see Les posting. Must be Cindy's collab on her Instagram. Thug life. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Bro, I. Do they even know each other? Like real question. Like, do they talk? Uh, Les doesn't support anyone. You know what? I'm not saying that she does, but I haven't seen that either from her. Like, I haven't seen, well, maybe a few times. I'm not even going to say I haven't seen. Maybe a few times. Like, her shouting out her friend or other influencers. Uh, she shouts out a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of Mayado stuff. So, like, Laura Boutique. Um, wait, someone, I am both. I'm both fans of, but that's who makeup has only. I, yeah, I can't read the rest of that. Um, yeah, I love Azir's. What the fuck happened to my <laughs> to my thing? I love influencers that are good role models. Candy Lover and Yessie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I can't believe. You. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up. I don't know what's up with them. And those lashes are $18 each. Oh, I need more context to that. To that comment. Um, watch Cindy pop out in the comments. <laughs> uh, No, I don't think so. Not right now. She's probably busy. Um, I feel like the larger influencers normally don't support publicly because them, everyone expects. I mean... <laughs> I could see that, but I don't know. You don't have to, like, if you shout someone out or if you support someone, like, just do it from your heart. Like, if pe- if other people ask them, be like, nah, I'm straight. I'm Gucci. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I, I do I do know what you mean. Like, other big people don't shout, um, shout others out if it doesn't benefit them. Because I've seen it with a lot of influencers, dude. A lot. And it's crazy to me. Um, Did you already cover the Tatiana, Brandy, and Walker? Yes. uh, You're going to have to watch the replay. I did. Mm -hmm. People need support on here. They need support. I always shout out. Yeah. That's that's the thing to do. Let's make it is one of the most humble influencers I know. You see what I mean? Like people praise Let's Do Makeup. Um, she doesn't want her baby to get pat. Then what are you guys talking about? I don't. I don't know what the heck you guys. Um, 
But yeah. Wait, who was the one that said that I told a call in <laughs> for cheese mate? I don't know who it was. I lost I lost track of that. Hold up. There's no comparison between Les and Cindy. I doubt it's jealousy. Cindy just doesn't F with everyone, and that's okay. Other influencers' names are never in her mouth, nor does she allow her followers to mention other influencers. I've never witnessed any of the big influencers mention her collaborations. That's true, though. I get, I mean, I. that's true. That's true. Like, I, if they don't shout me out, why am I going to shout them out? That's that's the the vibe I'm getting from Cindy. Which, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be the same way. I'm going to be the same way. Like, if you don't support me when I do my launches or whatever I do, why should I support you? She should just say that flat out. She should say that to her audience. Keep it 100. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else. To t- I think that this was the end of the show, guys. This, I'm literally just chatting with y'all. <laughs> Give support where support's given. Exactly. Yes, exactly. You know what? Let's let's call Cindy right now. Let's call her on the phone. Let's see what what she's she has for us. <laughs> oh wait, I think wait, I think I had one more thing to talk about. Just something real fast. Um, hold on, let me see. Oh yeah, so I don't know if you guys are aware of a, of a couple channel. Hold on, sorry, I, I I'm I'm switching gears, guys. There's more cheese, man. But I I saved it for the last because no one really knows about this, and it's just crazy. But I don't know if you guys remember here. Anyone in the chat remembers a family, a, a YouTube family called um, the Cano family, the Cano family. If y'all don't, let me let me give you a little update. <laughs> I posted this on my on my Instagram already, but let me see if I could pull up their things. Oh, never mind. It's it's ish. Okay, never mind. They don't have their page anymore. The the wifey, the ex took it. She renamed it to her name and she rebranded it everything. But anyways, this is where I'm getting to. So th- it was a it was a family channel. And uh bro, there was a lot of drama with that family drama, like stupid drama. This family was like boring as hell blah 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 but anyways it turns out that the dude that ran the family or the family page sorry the youtube just got arrested bro he just got arrested this is his mugshot right here this is the dad this is flyboy alfredo freddy whatever you want to call him this is him so bro he's been on the run since 2015 and check this out Check this out. He's been on the run. He has a, he's been, he had a warrant for his arrest since 2015. And you know why, why, why they put a warrant, a warrant for his arrest, bro. He was messing with underage girls, dude, with underage girls. Allegedly, allegedly he got one of them pregnant, bro. This mother, oh, what a piece of crap. So he was running since 2015. Recently, I don't know if this was today or yesterday, he got arrested, the mugshot. And guess who ratted him out? <laughs> but guess who ratted him out? Yes, his baby mama, the one that had the YouTube channel with him. You know, this this is where they're saying allegedly, cheese man, whatever. They're saying that the baby mama, Eileen, ratted him out. I was like, damn, bro. Like, good for her, but also like, that relationship was so toxic, dude. Like you could still, you could tell from the jump, they would go live, they would fight, like literally fight on live. Something like uh, Blueface and his baby mom or his girl, whatever, something like that. But I think Blueface and them are pretty much worse. But yo, this, yes, he's disgusting, bro. He's disgusting, and he was on the run since 2015. Let me show his mugshot again. So this is him. And, uh, yeah, they finally caught his ass. Uh, my boy is, he's going to get it in the, he's going to get it in there. Literally both ways. You know what? Like, he's going to get in jail. And you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's just a little update I wanted to talk about because this is crazy. I used to talk about this family the whole, like, 
uh, what is it? A lot, actually. In like 2019, 2020, what's their uh, YouTube channel? It, it's not there. It's not a YouTube channel anymore. She, the wifey, took it over. The wife took it over. Um, so it's her channel. There's I don't know if there's videos of them um, together anymore. She probably deleted everything. But yeah, I, I used to cover them so much back in the day, 2019, 2020. Um and I did not know any of this was going on. Like people would tell me and I was like, oh, like this is like obviously sensitive. But now that it happened, I'm like, dude, people were right with the cheese man. And his bond right now, I think is $10,000. And yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to, to afford that. Um, another thing, they were from Arizona too. They were from Arizona and they used to hang out with other influencers such as the Aguilars, Benny, and Alondra, um, us always. So it's just crazy to me. Like, bro, y'all, y'all were, y'all were good. Y'all were up there, and now, damn, it's y'all fucked up. You fucked up, my guy. So, yeah, just a little update on that uh, family, the Cano family. Uh, no, that's only one k. He will be out. What do you mean? I saw it was ten thousand. I thought it was ten grand for his bond. Um, no, Eileen and Flyboy are the originally from San Bernardino. Yeah, they're from San Bernardino, but they moved here to Arizona. I believe they lived in Mesa, Arizona. Like I didn't mean they they're from here, but they live here. They lived here. Whatever. Uh, does he have a TikTok? Yeah. So that's another thing. He he used to go on TikTok lives and compete for money. <laughs> so yeah. Um, it's just crazy. Uh, wait, who did Lola go on a blind date? I don't know. You're gonna have to watch the replay. I'm so sorry. Um, I spilled all the cheese mail on, on the on that already. Uh, leave the underage kids alone. Let them grow. Exactly, exactly. But yeah, guys, that's all I have for y'all today. I know it was it was kind of weird, a weird show today. But also, yeah, I just. Have to get ready for other stuff. So if you guys don't know, just a little update. Next week, I probably won't be here. I probably won't be live. I'm going to try to do my best to be live or to pre-record videos for you guys. Or if not, be here on Monday at least and get pre-recorded videos for you guys Wednesday and Friday. I don't know. I'm going to try to do my best, guys. Please, um, just in case people are wondering, yo, where the hell are you at? Once again, I'll be at the hospital. My baby's going to be born, guys. Hopefully, God willing, you know. So, yeah, I won't be here. Uh, Dan, do you ever meet up with any influence public around town or anything? No, I have not. Only Ryan, but yeah, that's that's about it. Um, what happened in Lola's? I missed this. You're going to have to go back. Sorry, the baby comes first. We will be here when you come back. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I just want to put it out there because I know there's still going to be people be like, yo, what the hell? Where, Danny, where you at? Y'all still going to be blowing up my phone. Thank you, Terry, for the Star stars. Party, Appreciate guys, that. Go. Um, but yeah, that's where I'll be next week. And then the week after that, there's going to be a new podcast probably on Friday. Friday. So keep an eye. Keep an eye on that. Um, but yeah, we should probably be back to normal, normal schedule. I want to say, let me let me look at my calendar, y'all. Um, probably March 6th. That's going to be, that's going to be my, my normal, normal, you know? Uh, but yeah, I, I, I do want to take a few, a few days off. Um, I don't know how many, how many days, but, uh, yeah, you guys got to be patient. I don't know if I'm going to be doing lives, um, like I am right now. I'm going to try my best, but I, like I said, I must, I don't want to work overtime like Boots said. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you guys have any cheese, man, send it to me, but it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to cover it right then and there. Um, so, yeah. Someone said he's already out, I believe. What the hell? Why? Why? <laughs> Booked and busy. Yes, thankfully. Thankfully, I'm trying. I'm, I'm booking guests to come over and chit chat. So, yeah, next week, I want to let me let me see specifically. Um, March 3rd. Or two weeks from now, March 3rd, we're going to have another guest here. Um, So, yes, stay tuned for that. Congratulations to you and the wifey. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. 
Thank you. What's your P.O. box? My P.O. box, um, I can't give it to you right now. I would have to look for it. But if you go to my YouTube videos, any YouTube video, look at the description box and you'll see it right there. Uh, Tiffany, thank you for the stars. Star party, Appreciate guys, that. Go. Um, hold on. Because he only had to pay 10% of his bond. Wow. Okay, so 1000 Wow. I saw someone said 1000 they would just live on that's that's crazy, dude. Uh Loki hoping in the explorer. <laughs> no. Uh this special guest, y'all gonna never mind. I can't say too much, but yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, I appreciate every single one of you guys for being here. I'm gonna get off now so that way you guys could watch the replay for those that are waiting for the replay. So thank you so much. Uh can I ask what you're having? Yes, I'm having a boy. I'm having another boy. So thank you guys so much. Um, but yeah, keep on guessing who it is. Is it Drea? I don't know. It might be. Stay tuned. I don't know. It, yeah, when the guest comes, y'all going to be mad. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much. I appreciate everyone for being here. And for, bro, if you, if you were here from zero minutes, one minute to now, an hour and one minute and seven seconds, Y'all real ones. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Tanya, yes, I'm keeping up with that. I love boxing. Bro. Okay, yeah, I, I got to go, guys. I got to go. Uh, but, yes, thank you guys so much. I do appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you. I love you all. Thank you for the start. Gracias a todos. Okay, I'm out. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. This is my exit. This is my exit. Hold on. <laughs>